I'm Leslie Kirsch. I'm the Director of Central Analytics for Witham Smith & Brown. Data analytics helps us to, for instance, achieve 100% coverage over a testing area where in the past, auditors may have used a sample uh, to test the same area. Uh, in areas like fraud investigations, being able to use data analytics is critical to making sure that you've identified all of the fraud that's occurred, uh, to look for new areas that the client may not even be aware that there's fraud occurring. Uh, so it really opens up the possibilities in terms of being able to serve our clients. I learned data analytics uh, really while I was working for the U.S. Government Accountability Office, uh, where I worked primarily as a fraud investigator dealing with uh, government-wide fraud, waste, and abuse issues. And one of the interesting uses of data analytics, and things that I never thought I'd do when I got my accounting degree, certainly, are that I got to look for, there's, there's a group of bad actors that the federal government keeps, it's called the excluded parties list, that's uh, companies that have done terrible things like selling nuclear arms parts to North Korea or other just terrible uh, things. And the goal is that the federal government doesn't want to do business with those people. And so I got to investigate and look for times that federal agencies had in many cases inadvertently awarded contracts to some of these organizations. So we use data analytics to be able to compare that list of excluded parties to all of these federal contracts and grants that had been awarded across the government and see where there was overlap and use it to dig into the root causes of how these contracts managed to get award, uh, awarded. And uh, another thing I never thought I'd do when I got my accounting degree uh, when I was working as a federal investigator was that we were asked um, to look into the possibility of individuals who had sex offense convictions um, who were working in schools. Uh, and so this is a, an opportunity to use data analytics to take two different databases that are not normally compared to one another. We actually uh, took a look at new hire data where we looked at everybody who'd been hired by a school over a certain period of time and we looked to see if any of them appeared on a sex offender registry. Um, and we actually did find a couple of people who were currently employed by a school uh, by doing this data analytics work and we were able to contact the school districts that they worked for so that they could take action. I've been a fraud investigator for uh, the better part of my 15 year career and I think that you really can't conduct fraud investigations without a core of data analytics these days. Um, it's fundamentally about taking all of the data that's available to us from an organization and finding all of the possible ways in which fraud could have uh, been committed.